All right, hey yo guys, what's up? Welcome back for another an Android unboxing thing with Bob do hickey stuff. Well, what you might call it? So today we take a look at your boy, your boy Riku from Kingdom Hearts One. Wait, hold on, actually not your boy. Nobody likes Kingdom Hearts One Riku. Everybody hates Kingdom Hearts One Riku. Kingdom Hearts Riku, Kingdom Hearts One Riku actually kind of sucks. Now that I remember and think about it carefully again. So it's Riku based on his Kingdom Hearts One appearance to go along with your Sora and an Android from Kingdom that was also released last earlier last year or at some point. So first of all, what does he come with? So there. Well, before you say, well, let's take a look at the actual box. So there you go. There's Riku. There's Riku in the box. Uh, Nintendo number 984. That's his name in Japanese. There's a cool shot of him. Side of the box shows you, hey, these are all the cool poses you can do. Uh, side of the box, he comes with. He comes with the Soul Eater. So that's 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 his cool weapon he uses until he gets a real key, right? And then it tells you, hey, go buy the Nintendo Sora so you can play, have him pose along with your Nintendo Riku. So he doesn't feel alone. Uh, other than that side of the box, uh, pretty much it. I don't know what's this weird block thingy. I don't know, does this come with a weird block? That would be really weird and out of nowhere. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Top of the box, just another cool display shot of Riku. If you look at there's the Kingdom Hearts logo right there, you know, and then an Android shout to Good Smile Company. Uh, pretty much it. Uh, back bottom of the box, just saving another cool display piece. Other than that, pretty much it for the box. Nothing special, nothing. nothing I like the teal. I like the nice uh, teal blue color. That's pretty good. That's a good color to go along with him. So that's pretty much it. So let's take a look at the actual figure now. All right, so here we have Riku himself right out of the box head. Before we take a look at the actual Riku figure, you guys always know how we do on the show. If you guys did not know how we always do on the show, we always take a look at the accessory the figure comes with first before we take a look at the actual figure. So Riku comes with a good amount of accessories. First off, we got his signature weapon for the, for the majority of Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memory, the Soul Eater weapon, not a key, but just a weapon that he randomly has. Thanks to and some Seeker of Darkness. So there you go. Nice, good design right there. Look, the evil wind, the glazing eye. Pretty much it. Next, he comes with a keyblade. For some reason, he comes with Oblivion. Uh, I guess that mirrors the fact in game you get him. When the fuck did you get Oblivion? Kim Hearts One again. I don't remember when the fuck you get him. Get it. But, but yeah, it's supposed to represent Riku in a way. To be honest, that's that's the whole point. God damn, I already dropped the keyblade. Whoops. Oops, there you go. So there, here's so you get an Oblivion Keyblade. Does that mean if they release a Kyrie Nandroid, she's gonna come with Oath Keeper? I'm gonna call it right now, right here on this video. That's when they're gonna release the Oath Keeper Keyblade for this. So there you go. You get a cool little uh, little Keyblade of, of Oblivion. Uh, so that, but but that, but it feels really bad if they ever release a Roxas Nandroid, and you're gonna get a second Oblivion for no reason. So there you go. Next, he comes with two wooden swords because he's a cool guy. Because he gets to have two wooden swords. Nah, that really. The reason why he comes with two wooden swords is for you. One you can use for Riku, the other one for swords. So you can have them do the little sparring matches where they wave their wooden sword around like, wah, wah, wacha, 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 wacha. Oh, that's pretty much it. Next, he comes with what? Next, he comes with one face plate. This weird smirking face. I don't know what's the deal with this face. It looks very evil. And sinister for some reason. Jesus Christ! What with this weird smirking face? Next, he comes with two hands. He comes with a two. He comes with two weapons holding hands. So theoretically, you can make him dual wield apparently. So he has two hands to hold a weapon for no reason. That's that's pretty cool, I guess. So you can you have a dual you can have dual wielding Riku. That's 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 nice to know, right? So that's pretty much it for the accessory ah, accessory count. And you know, he has a good amount of accessory. Oblivion's rat is it's just a random keyblade. To give him, but I guess it makes sense in the long run of the story wise. Because you get it at some point. Is that when you beat Riku at. 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 is that when you beat Riku at some? Is that when you get it? I don't remember when you get Oblivion, Jesus Christ. It's been so long. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the accessory. So, a good amount of accessory, like I was saying. It's now it's time to actually take a look at Riku himself now. And first, like, he's a small boy, right? Because he's an android. You can't do much with his skin. So he's a, he's a small, little, cheapy little guy. So first, I'll just take a look at the actual figure. So paint app wise, pretty good. He has a, hey, here's his god awful Kingdom Hearts 1 outfit. Do you remember how awful his Kingdom Hearts 1 outfit? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Lamar, what were you thinking in Kingdom Hearts 1 with his outfit? His giant baggy pants with belts and zipper. His weird yellow shirt with belt and zipper and the letter X. There's the recusive recollection to where the stupid sign thingies that Xehanort has on it, X on everyone. He has cool looking shoes and he has belts on his pants. I forgot about that. Head sculpt pretty much it. Hey, I mean his hair, his hairstyle in camera form is pretty cool. I'll give him that much. Uh, and that's pretty much it for his paint. That's paint. That's pretty good. You expect this is what you're expecting. So articulation wise, he has a giant anime head. So you could uh. 
360 spin that spin that around. You can no, he cannot look look from side to side. Uh, elbows and shoulders. There you go. He has elbows and shoulders it's for you to do. He can wave. That's pretty good. He has a wavy arm. Uh, torso, legs, whatever. Uh, yep. Yeah, there's articulation here. They're, ball, they're on joints. They're on peg, pegs, not pegs. Ball joints right here. Not ball joints. It's it's, it's those joints. Um, knee. Nothing in the knee. I mean, he has a toe joint. Not toe joint. Is this the knee? No, that, this is the knee. What the fuck is this called? Or the, the heel? Is this is it fucking called the heel? I, I I don't I don't know body parts articulation names. So that's pretty much it. He can do he can do a lot of things standing up. Oh God, Rico, why are you falling? Why are you? Oh God, Jesus Christ, Rico, please stand up. Please stand up. Stop falling, Riku. Oh God, Jesus Christ, you're already falling. What a mess. Oh God, what? How has turning into the darkness caused you to fall so hard, Riku? All right, there you go. Nice, nice, nice little figure. Above all. So above Indian, what are my final thoughts on Indian Joy Greek? Uh, like, uh, he's a good figure. Uh, <coughs> God, my throat. Jesus Christ, I'm dying over here. Has the darkness caused me to die? Anyway, so like I was saying, Rico's a nice, he's a small boy, he's a good boy. Actually, no way, no, he's actually a bad boy because he succumbed, he, he secluded to the darkness and caused pain and misery. Anyway, I mean, I'm not, person. I'm not a big fan of Kingdom Hearts 1 Riku's design and story-wise, he's pretty much, pretty much garbage in Kingdom Hearts 1, to be honest. Um, that's my personal opinion about Riku in Kingdom Hearts 1. He's still a nice figure, definitely pick him up, to be honest. I mean, he, he, he's a cool little figure, he comes with oblivion, so. So you could slowly build your Keyblade collection with your sword and then enjoy cuz. Calling it like I said earlier, calling it now that uh Kyrie and Android whenever they announced it will come with Oath Keeper just cuz, you know. Just cause you can so that way you can have sort of have Oath Keeper and Oblivion at some point. But of all pretty nice figure. I mean he goes with a good amount of accessory. Love the fact that he randomly just comes with Oblivion, even though sort even though that's technically correct, because it's supposed to represent Riku or some garbage like that. Right? I don't know. Don't remember. It's been too long. Anyway, uh, blah, 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 nice figure. Uh, should you pick him up? Yeah, definitely. Should you pick him up by himself? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, personally by himself. I mean, if you already got Sora, it makes sense for you to pick up Riku too. I, uh, so you gotta get to get the duo. Probably, probably wait for Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku, to be honest. I'd rather wait for Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku's and then Android, whatever that gets goddamn announced, but, or released. But, above, I mean, it's, I mean, his head sculpt's pretty good. I just hate his whole character outfit. Kingdom Hearts 1. God, it looks so goddamn garbage. Jesus Christ. But, but above all, pretty nice figure, uh, and everything. And that's pretty much all I really have to say about it. Um, stay tuned after this for some weird creepy anime pictures, and I'll see you next time. Okay, thanks, bye.